really created a space where Black women can come together and talk about everything that makes them feel uncomfortable. While the topic of discussion may be hair, you'll be surprised where you can veer off into other subjects when talking about hair. Today, I've brought together relaxed and natural women to talk about the divide in the black hair community, stereotypes, and bridge the gap. I'm your host, Brianna, and you're watching Sisters Diary. Welcome to Sister's Diary. Thank you ladies so much for being here with me today. I'm super excited. So to my left, I have Taylor, who goes by Taylor Made Styles on Instagram. She is a licensed cosmetologist who specializes in weaves and wig making. So we have Janae, who goes by Beautiful J on YouTube and Instagram. She started blogging in 2016, sharing natural hair tips when she noticed her supporters wanted in on the hair growth secrets. She created Beautiful J Hair Growth Serum to help women tackle alopecia, thin hair, and dry scalp. Next, we have Kristen, who also is known as Simply Chrissy and she is a Jamaican relaxed hair enthusiast living in the States. She began relaxing in 2011 and since then she has been documenting her healthy relaxed hair journey on YouTube and Instagram. Next we have Tiffany, beautiful. <laughs> she is a nail tech a hair and makeup artist who specializes in coloring and styling natural hair. Um, she is most passionate about helping men and women feel more confident through the beauty industry. So to my right, we have Ebony, who is an author. She wrote undergrad the first semester, and she also has her own clothing boutique. She is also pursuing a career in the film industry and has worked with media outlets such as BET, VH1, and Viacom. Next, we have Darian, who is also known as Immaculate Winks on Instagram. She is a salon owner of Immaculate Beauty, and she also is a licensed cosmetologist, a certified mink eyelash artist, and a USF alumni majoring in business. And last but not least, we have Anastasia, who is a lifestyle influencer and ambassador for brands that represent authentic beauty and health ideals. As Sincerely Asia, she creates content on YouTube and Instagram showing her curl friends fun and engaging content. So guys, as you see, we have some amazing, beautiful women here at the table. So the first question I want to ask you ladies is what are some stereotypes of natural and relaxed hair that you have heard? Well, I think to start off, I would say the most common is like people saying, oh, your hair is so dry and nappy, when really it's not. If you use the right products that um, cater to your hair type or your texture or whatever, um, your hair is as easy and manageable as a um, relaxer as well or Caucasian hair or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think another one would be like the whole stereotype that when you're natural, you're like, soul sister like, <laughs> like you expect me to be like at home burning sage and stuff right. and then like the relaxed <laughs> girls are supposed to be you know bougie mm -hmm. and like you know just uppity I just think that it's like a big a big gap and it's yeah. almost never true it's never true yeah yeah That's it. <laughs> I think another one for relaxers is that we're trying to be white mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Yeah. when it's really it has nothing to do with that at all you right. know it's all about a hair preference mm -hmm. what we want to do with our hair you right. know and that another one is that our hair is going to fall out right. <laughs> as we said <laughs> yes 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 that's okay. that is very true anybody else no <laughs> She said, right. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to read you off some of the ones that I have found by doing some research. So, natural stereotypes are earthy, black power, activists, 
radical, woke, rebellious, <laughs> unmanageable hair, and natural Nazis. Um, I could agree with the natural Nazis things, but I'm friends with all of you guys at this table, and none of you are natural Nazis, so um, that's definitely a stereotype. Um, the relaxed hair stereotypes are she's an Oreo, trying to be white, um, you don't love yourself, um, superficial, your hair is damaged, you're bougie, your hair is thin, and you're not connecting with black people. So guys, um, basically Sister's Diary is created because I just wanted to put all those stereotypes to rest. That's not true, as you can see at this table. So ladies, could we just chime in on why do you think black women cast stereotypes on both natural and relaxed women when it's like, you know, come on y'all, we gotta support each other, we gotta love each other. What's, what's the point of doing Following that? trends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. just, Janae? Yeah, I was gonna say, basically I feel like it's society, so they feel like, oh, people that want to get their hair relaxed, they don't love themselves mm -hmm. natural. And just like you said, it's like a preference. This is what they feel like. I like my hair this way versus other people that are natural. They like their, their hair natural. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I would definitely say it's because they don't know both sides. So I feel like um, with my family, they like kind of look down upon me because I went natural, mm -hmm. but they're relaxed and their hair is beautiful, of course. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they don't like that my hair is short, it's thick. So they just don't understand the other side of the natural world because they've always been relaxed, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's something that I've seen a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of it comes, though, mostly from within the black community, just because like, you know, for example, when I went natural, a lot of people were like, well, why would you do that? Your hair was so pretty. I liked your hair better straight. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to like, you're supposed to do whatever works better for you and mm -hmm. however you feel more comfortable. Yeah. Or and let me just say this one thing about mm -hmm. Tiffany, guys. Like, since I've known Tiffany, she has changed her hair so many times. <laughs> and I think this is my favorite. But I just say that to say I admire how you're so flexible with your hair journey. And you, it's not about length to you. It's just all about what you want to do. If you feel like coloring exactly. it, you coloring it. If you feel like straightening it, you straighten it. If you feel like, you know, cutting it all off, you do that. <laughs> yes. So um, I definitely admire that about your hair journey. But anybody else want to chime in? Well, I guess I'll say in the black community just in general, we do this whole separation mm -hmm. of dark skin versus light skin, mm -hmm. natural versus relaxed, you know? And I just feel like that's something that we have to change just overall. Yeah. yeah. So it's just like a, I just know that that's, notice that that is a problem that's mm -hmm. ongoing that we kind of divide instead mm -hmm. of come together. Right. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's not just about the hair, it's just about everything in general. It's just always, separated you know yeah. and I feel like we should try to unite more you yeah. know so that's exactly. just how I feel yeah. in respect to it I know you just said none of us are natural Nazis so I don't want to come <laughs> in here <laughs> with you know, the native vibe right but I feel like we need to acknowledge that for such a long period of time being permed mm -hmm. like getting your hair Permed as much as we used to, mm -hmm. like as much as black people, black girls used to, and as young as black moms used to perm their child's hair, yeah. was unhealthy. Like oh. it was yeah. so mm -hmm. unhealthy. I so agree. that contributes to why there's a stereotype that having relaxed hair is unhealthy because for so long mm -hmm. we were doing it the mm -hmm. unhealthy way. Exactly. There's a healthy way to do it, and then there's an unhealthy way to do it, but. Mm -hmm. That consistent, like every three weeks, you mm -hmm. go in in somebody's chair to, mm -hmm. yes. to get chemicals in your hair, and then they're not, you know, they're not worried about the new growth. They just slept in it all, yes. like, like all that, that double mm -hmm. processing. And then, mm -hmm. like I knew girls, even I remember knowing girls because I wanted my hair straightened when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I remember knowing girls in like first grade with me who had like long, pretty, straight hair, mm -hmm. and it's because they were getting perms, and that is so young it is. yeah like that is so young mm -hmm. you don't even so pe many people are worried about like not cutting boys hair until a certain age but mm -hmm. your daughter can get chemicals in her right hair right right at, like i would agree yeah. and mm -hmm. it's it's funny that you say that because it's like 
I feel like we've evolved mm -hmm. as a black community. Mm -hmm. We're no longer relaxing our hair every three weeks. Mm -hmm. We're no longer relaxing our hair every four weeks. I relax my hair every four months. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, yes. I, I think for you, it's like... Yeah, it's like maybe... Maybe three times a year, at yeah, most. At yeah. most. At most. I know people who get one relaxer a year. Yeah. I know yeah. people who get two relaxers a year. So For it's sure. like, I feel like it's not like that anymore. Mm -hmm. And you learn that from growth, mm -hmm. yes. from from learning what's Absolutely. wrong, what's right. And shoot, in high school, I think we used to get relaxers pretty often, but it's more often than not. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know. No, I we all went to relaxing later. <laughs> you, you jumped on the wagon. Pretty late. Yeah. 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 Did you well, I jump on. Yeah. Well, just to, to piggyback off of that, mm -hmm. well, times have changed now. You have YouTube now, so right. you can mm -hmm. see videos sure. on how to take care of the hair. Before then, everybody was getting hot combed. Right. Yeah. Getting burnt everywhere. Yeah. So it was like, that's you know, I don't want to, like, that's what my mom did to me. She was sick and tired of putting hot comb in my hair. I come back from school, it's the big old it's puff. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, I was, I'm very tender headed still to this day. And I'm just like, okay, how can I make my child stop crying? Right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this relaxer in my hair. Yes. And everything was good mm -hmm. yes yeah i connect with that a lot because my mom was perming my hair every two weeks not even three weeks. yeah and it wasn't because she wasn't she was trying to damage my hair it's because it was so thick she didn't know what to do with uh -huh. it so all she knew was to get it straight but after a certain period of time it was like my hair was getting shorter and shorter and shorter to where it was completely damaged right. was nothing to do about it at that point mm -hmm. right. so i definitely connect with that a lot. and i also think even with being natural janae has been natural mm -hmm. forever and mm -hmm. i feel like it hasn't been since recently or mm -hmm. since the natural movement started that you learned how to care for your own hair and love your own hair even though you weren't relaxed you were uh, natural yeah yeah honestly i was the only person in my family with <laughs> curly hair because my mother always like got a relaxer mm -hmm. it was only up until like maybe my high my junior year high school that she went natural so i personally wanted a perm like I see my mom mm -hmm. with straight hair I'm like straight hair is so pretty oh, like straight. I want my hair yeah. yeah I wanted my hair straight and I hated like this big bush like yeah. I'm like yeah. something gotta give so I um luckily my mom didn't um give me a relaxer because she felt like it was gonna damage my hair because like you said like like people didn't know how to yeah. take care of their hair relaxed mm -hmm. so they all had this stereotype like if you relax your hair don't relax her hair. Her hair is going to fall out. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, relax my hair. Yes. But they didn't want me to um, get a relaxer because of that. But I'm glad that I didn't because yeah. I learned to love my hair. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, nothing against relaxed hair. Right. I just feel like it's a preference for yeah. everyone. Yeah, definitely. It's a preference. It's well, a preference. I will say this. I feel like it's all about education mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I mean Either a lot of people yes I mean it doesn't matter whether you natural whether you relax yeah. I've mm -hmm. seen people with natural hair that don't know how to take care of it I've mm -hmm. also seen, seen people who are relaxed and mm -hmm. don't know what to do with mm -hmm. it and even with what you said Asia starting at such a young age a lot of moms like you said don't you know, know what, what to, to do, do. Yeah. so it's about education mm -hmm. everybody doesn't need a super relaxer mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the point of a relaxer is to relax your natural wave pattern <laughs> not to get it in exactly. right. yeah. exactly. so it's just to make it more manageable so mm -hmm. everybody kind of be feeling like oh I gotta just be slapping mm -hmm. this on her they be doing it wrong they be slapping it in a ponytail yeah. 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 That's, that's wrong yeah. like educate yourself whether yeah. you're gonna be natural whether you're going to be relaxed. Mm -hmm. You still have to maintain. You still have to care for it. Yeah. You still have to know what you're doing. So, and find right products that works for you. Because right. what might work for you might not work, work for, for me. Like, whether you're natural, <laughs> relaxed. Everybody be like, well, what you use for your hair? Like, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, my regimen not, might not work right <laughs> exactly. for you. So it's just like you really have to learn your hair. You have to figure out what works best for you. And I feel like once you figure that out, then you'll start to see, you know, some growth. Then yeah. it's like, okay, mm -hmm. I, can, I can do this, you know? Mm -hmm. well, that's how I feel about it. Hey, what's up, guys? If you're watching Sister's Diary, then you may have a chance to win some of these awesome prizes. We have a edge brush from the Evers, Hairs Forever. We have Beauty from the Roots hair products. We have Meet Beauty by Susie, and we have Lil Cosmetics, guys. These are amazing products. We have a hair product an edge product we have lashes this is makeup it's just so beautiful and these are lip scrubs and lip glosses so guys you're in for a treat yeah. all the rules are down below so make sure you follow those to be entered to win these amazing gifts